In this class, we are going to learn XSLT function in mapper that is for each loop. This for each function is used to iterate over the list of items if there is any in the source. Like for example, I am having data for 4 students over here in the source. In students, we are having the name of a student, class wherein the student is studying and the marks. Now we need to iterate over this list of students and get the name of the students and map to target. If I go to the documentation of w3.org on using for each function, here there is a syntax on how we can make use of this for each function in XSLT is documented over here. You can have a look on this documentation page by w3.org on XSLT 2.0. Now in order to loop over to the students element, what we have to do is in OIC, if you just drag and drop to the target, it will automatically create for us the for each loop provided the element for which we are mapping is also unbounded like it is over here it is unbounded elements are identified with this icon over here okay if you compare the icon for this name element and the icon for the students it is a list or the array of items here if you see this is not an array it is a single item now once we drag and drop to students it will automatically create the forage now we have to map name to name class to class and marks to marks click on validate now go over to test and execute now if you see we have iterate over the list of students and we have assigned the name of a student class where the student is studying and the marks in the target like how you see over here now suppose i don't want mapping for marks now how i can delete that in order to delete that just right click and delete that mapping over here now let me validate the mapper Go to test. Now we shouldn't get this marks field, only name and the class. Click on execute. Now we are getting only the marks and the class. Now instead of directly mapping student to student, let's see how we can do that with the help of drag and drop from the UI. Before that, I will remove this from the code. Switch over to designers. Now under XSLT, you have, if you click on this toggle functions under XSLT, you will find for each drag this and we have to drop but in order to drop we need a node created in the mapper in order to do that first right click on the students and create a target node close this and now drag for each and drop it over here before students now the for each has been created we need to map students to for each like this once it has looped over the students item we need to map names class now I'm mapping only two elements. Let's go to test. Validate the mapper. And click on execute. Now if you see we are getting name and class. This is with the help of dragging and dropping from the UI. Similar thing we can do from the code as well. We can write this statement XSL for each. And the selection criteria over here will go like this. Also, we need to end the for loop over here with this statement XSL for each backslash. And then we have to add the details like this. And the mapping over which it has to loop. This is the source X path over here, which we provide. Now we will remove what we did for it from the designer. Now validate this mapper what we modified from the code. Go to designer, validate the mapper. Mapper is valid. Go to test. Now click on execute. Similar thing we will get if we modify in the code as well. The one thing what I missed over here is while modifying, I have not put the students tag. If you see name and class only there. So in order to resolve this issue, I will put the students tag as well over here. We need to end the students tag as well. Yeah, click on validate. Go to designer. Yeah, go to test and execute. Now, as you can see, we could see students element printed in the target. Within that, we are having name and the class. Like this, we can make use of for each in XSLT or OIC integration mapper and build logic to iterate over the list of items.